When the Federal Prime Minister is in London, I am absolved from answering questions about the Federation. And uh, it gives me an opportunity of saying something about the affairs of Southern Medita, which is apt to fade into the background these days. In the first instance, harking back to the referendum that we held on our new constitution, we are now settled as far as constitutional issues are concerned within Southern Rhodesia with something that will last us, I hope, for a long time. Now, we are very acutely alive in Southern Rhodesia to the fact that it is absolutely necessary to have a new look at affairs in Africa these days. Our problem is a straightforward one. Over the last 60 years, we've built up a modern economy. We've built up extensive manufacturing industries, a very large and important European farming industry, and quite a complicated modern industrial complex. There are a tremendous number of the African people in Southern Asia today who thoroughly understand that the prosperity and the rising standard of living and the services that are being provided depend on industry. The only answer to the African racialist preached by the Afro-Asian group throughout the northern half of our continent is to have a Rhodesian nationality that takes no account of color at all, where the people feel themselves to be genuinely fellow Rhodesians. The reason I mention the possibility of having to fight is the rude noises that the Pan-Africanists make from further north. Because there's no doubt we have an actual threat of external aggression, not immediate, 